In this video you will learn how to make drop shadows and reflections. You can place a drop shadow or reflection on text or an object. In order to apply special effects you must select the text or object you would like to add the effect to. First I will show you how to add the effect to text. As you can see there are many options to choose from. Spend some time here going through the options and see what you like. Next, click on the shape effects to add a reflection to the text. You can get as fancy as you want if you have the time. Now I'm going to show you how to add effects to a logo. Once you have inserted your logo, it will appear in the middle of your screen. Once you click on your logo, PowerPoint automatically brings up a new tab at the top called Format. This is a new section with a bunch of picture and tool effects. To add effects to your logo or image, select on the Picture Tool button. As you can see, it's pretty similar to the Shape Effects tool from earlier in the video. Once you master one, you will have mastered both. Drop shadows and special effects can make your text hard to read, so it's best not to use them in your paragraphs.